so far for Bobby Morgan, one of the veterans, of course, of the diving game. Next in the swimming pool, though, it's the turn for some up-and-coming young swimmers in our next final. It's the women's 400 freestyle. Let's rejoin David and Andy. Yes, the 400 freestyle. There we can see the eight girls who have made it through to the final. Again, we can check the fastest qualifier. And that's Elizabeth Arnold, 19 years of age, from Nova Centurion. This race, of course, eight lengths of the pool. Now, one interesting thing here, Andrew, that I think we must point out, the British record was set back in 1986 by Sarah Hardcastle. That's 407.68. The fastest qualifier is some 17 seconds slower than that. That's quite incredible, isn't it? It is incredible, but I think if you... Uh go back to know Sarah Hardcastle. She's actually here today in the pool. She'll pre be presenting the prizes to these girls. But Sarah Hardcastle was just an incredible swimmer. Anyway, there's lane one, Alina Arter from the City of Leeds, a young 15-year-old swimmer, national age group champion. Lane two, Caroline Piggott from the City of Birmingham. Lane number three, that's Samantha Fogo from Newcastle, 18 years of age. Lane number four, the fastest qualifier, Elizabeth Arnold, GB International from Nova Centurion Swimming Club. Lane number five, Angela Pendrick from Beckenham, 16 years old, and she's a Scottish international. She was fourth in the European Junior Championships last year. Big race for her. Lane six, Caroline Dakers from the City of Leeds. So two girls from the City of Leeds in this final. She's also an age group champion. And lane number seven, Susan Collin from Derwent Side, a member of the SO Youth Squad. She's 17 year, years of age now, so she's uh, qualified in her best time. Alex Kay from the city of Bradford. And she was sixth in the tournament meters freestyle yesterday. So she's got some speed. So that's the eight girls for the 400 meters freestyle final. That's Samantha Fogo in lane number three. One of the favorites for this race. You'll be able to recognize her. She's got the black cap on with the city of Newcastle crest. So we don't expect any false starts here. The girls on the longer events, fairly relaxed on the blocks. They still have to get a good explosive start, of course. But uh, compared to the 50 or the 100, where they really explode off the blocks, they don't have to be quite so tense. So they're now under starters orders. They will move up to the middle of the block. And then on the starter's orders, move forward, curl those toes around the side of the pool or the side of the block. Most of them will be doing a grab start. Okay. That means they hold on. And off they push themselves in a good start there from lane number five, Angela Pendrick, the Scottish International. Now, I talked to her before the race and asked her what sort of time that she thought she was capable of. And she said, well, 4.17.62, which is Olympic qualifying time, might be beyond me, but I'm going to give it a go. So it's going to be a good race between, we think, Fogo, Arnold, and Pendrick. Yeah, it's going to be very tough for these girls to make this qualifying time. They're actually, what, seven seconds down from the qualifying time in the heats this morning. But I was having a long chat with Sam Fogo, and she seemed quite happy with it. And Sam Fogo has actually gone out fairly strong here. I think she's probably the fastest of the girls in this, uh, in this field. But the field is very young indeed. The oldest is actually Liz Arnold in lane number four, and she's 19. The youngest down in lane one, Alina Arter, is only 15 years old from the city of Leeds, but comfortable looking up this first 100 meters. Yeah, Fogo is the only one, I think, capable of swimming uh, around 4.17. She has done 4.19, as you were pointing out. But uh, going fast through the first 100 with her is Angela Pendrick in lane number five. So it's Fogo in three. Elizabeth Arnold just out of shot. Uh, she's going to probably swim a negative split race. And Angela Pendrick at the top of your picture, slightly in the lead now. Very nice stroke from Angela Pendrick. Nice relaxed arm stroke. Good strong leg kick. And she really is beginning to push this race. Put a bit of pressure on the older swimmer, Samantha Fogo. Well, it's just a 150 meter turn. Very fast turnover, you can see. Tick tock, tick tock. Typical distance. Not too much of a kick. Well, slight indiscipline there off the wall. It really should do a good streamline with a tiny no kick for a short while, but then really motor the legs off that wall. And there was very little. That's Angela Pendrich in lane number six. And Angela looks really good at the moment. Very strong. Down in lane three, Sam Fogo also looking good. But beautiful picture there of uh, Angela Pendrich. Angela got a nice long stroke. 
slightly more leg kick than a normal distance freestyle the halfway stage then 207.2 now that is on pace for the qualifying time for both these girls david well this is committed swimming this is a sort of swimming that we all like to see where they'll actually take the race and really go for that time and no sort of messing around at the back of the field they really are putting the pressure on and this is where it starts to hurt the third 100 you can see they've really left elizabeth arnold for dead now whether elizabeth arnold is going to come through in the last uh, part of the race i don't uh, think she's got enough in it but these two girls really pushing the pace now it turned just together Fogger, the taller of the two girls got a better push off the wall there and it looks like pendrick has to really work hard during the swimming part of the race because Fogger is really fast into the turns and out of the turns now there's 150 meters to go this is where the race is going to get really interesting and this turn is very very important because it really is going to give them momentum for the last 100 meters as you can see there's nothing in it there's 105 meters to swim well an all-important turn here they go in exactly together see who gets the better turn pretty even sam Fogo at the bottom of the picture a much better distance freestyle swimmer, the 800 race, which is twice as far as this one. But the sprinter is lane five, Angela Pendrich. So it's going to be extremely interesting down this last part. The sprinter at the top of the picture against the more experienced and certainly more stamina -ized lane number three, Samantha Fogo. It looks like Angela Pendrich, though, at the top of the picture from Beckenham. And what a surprise this is going to be. The last turn, both these girls looking for a time of 4 minutes and 17.62. Well, this is tremendous swimming, and what a last 50 this is going to be. My money right now is Angela Pendrick on lane 5, but you can't discount Pendrick. That's... That's Pendrick there, Fogo is still coming now, there's 25 metres to go, the smaller of the two, Angela Pendrick, international from Scotland, is going to hold on, but here comes Fogo again, there's 50 metres to go, what a finish this is going to be, this is the closest race we've had so far, is Pendrick going to hold on, it's going to be very tight, it's down to the line, who gets it, and it's Fogo! In lane three, her time, 4.19.59, what a finish that was! And those two girls really committed themselves to that race. And that was the sort of swimming that we want to see. But it just came down to the last arm turn. And Fogo, the toro of the two girls, just got that touch. Well, my word, that was one of the most exciting races we've had so far. And so close. Well, that's the victor. That's Sam Fogo. And she swam a super last five meters. It's so close here. Really throwing themselves at the wall. Sam Fogo on the right. Well, it looked like Pendrick at the, on the left-hand side got her arm in first, but then put a short little choppy stroke in, and it looks like that, that might have lost to the race. Inside the last 25 meters, and at this stage, clearly Pendrick was ahead. It's about 15 meters out, 10 meters out now, and Pendrick looked like she was ahead, but the experience and the superior stamina of Samantha Fogo in lane number three well, my word, look at the finish here. Oh, that tiny little choppy stroke at the top. That has unfortunately lost Pendrick the place on the Barcelona Olympic Games. But confirmation of the result, David. Yes, we can confirm that. Samantha Fogger just winning that 4.19.59. Pendrick from Beckenham, well, it was tough on her, 4.19.73. If she had longer arms, she would have pipped that. And in third place, Elizabeth Arnold from Nova Centurion, 4.23.74. But Samantha Fogger, no doubt, going to be extremely happy after that event. She just pipped it, and there you can see the relief on her face. She's made the team, and it was so, so close. Well, with me now, uh, very happy Sam Fogo. Sam, I know you're breathless, but did you realize just how close it was? Well, I saw Angela on the last length, but I was just so determined to beat her and catch her up and overtake her. It's the only thing that got me through, really. Yeah, it was literally the closing stages that, that you got there as Angela began to die, wasn't it? I think yeah. we can have a look at the closing stages again now. And there it is, Sam. Well, I think you're probably behind just at that stage. Well, it certainly looks like it. But I have got long arms, so... It must have been down my height that I actually managed to get that touch. Well, I can tell you that with us now, we're talking about height, is Angela. Angela, those two or three inches, I guess, yeah. might have cost you that. Yeah, I think uh, I just lost it on that last stretch. I just gave it everything I had and 
it wasn't enough to beat Sam, I don't think. But she did, did a superb swim, and congratulations yeah, to her. Yeah. Well, you both um, you both really went for it today, didn't you? I mean, five seconds or more faster than your heats. Yes. Well, we wanted an easy heat swim, really, and then blast it for the final. So that's what our tactics were, and it worked for me at the end. But as, as Sandra said, I had a good swim, so did she. PB for Angela, so I'm sure she's really chuffed about that. Yeah. Oh, did it did it help you that Angela was so close to you? Were you aware that Angela was so close, in fact? Um, yeah, so when I was breathing on that side, I just put my head down and went for it. I wasn't going to stick around watching it. OK, well, Sam, congratulations. Angela, commiserations. Great effort. Thanks. Well, there we are. What about that for a finish to a race? Absolutely fantastic. And I tell you what, we have some great action coming up for you. Because in just a few minutes' time, it's Nick Gillingham going for that world record in the men's 200 metres breaststroke. And it's live here on Sky Sports. Thanks very much, Fantastic Ian. Fantastic story. Now, babies as young as 18 months are being taught to swim like adults by a former Olympic swimmer from Kent. Angela Wilson was in the British Olympic squad and she now instructs amazingly 500 children wow. a week in Dartford. That's a lot of kids. <laughs> she <laughs> says teaching toddlers professional strokes is important for their safety and good for their health. Catherine Carpenter has the story. It doesn't matter if you're only two, technique's the key. Parents seem to think if they can get the armbands off the children, get them going from one side to the other, they will learn to swim. And that's not what it's all about. It's about achieving the ultimate goal and getting the style and getting them swimming competently and makes them much more confident swimmers. And she knows what she's talking about. In 1992, Angela got a place in the British Olympic squad. She never made it to Barcelona because of a change in the qualifying rules. But two years later, she came sixth in the Commonwealth Games. And she's already tipped some of her pupils as future Olympians. Like Saffron here, she can swim 200 lengths. Six-year-old Georgina swam 100 this morning. And Bertie, aged four, managed a whopping 32. I done well and I got medals for winning the races. Angela really encourages you and you feel like you're actually doing well, you're progressing. It makes you have fun when you do the swimming lesson. Starting them off at this young age and teaching them to swim properly seems to be working. Local swimming club coaches say they can tell children were taught by Angela the minute they see them. The children's parents are impressed too. Mine have been swimming since the age of three and they've just come along leaps and bounds. If you compare them to other people, the, the, the technique is just fantastic. After they're full of, I've done this, I've done that, and they're you know, just really pleased. And she just gets achievement after achievement out of them that as a parent you can't do. Angela knows that getting babies into the water isn't new, but says that teaching them professional strokes and a competitive attitude is. She's confident some of these youngsters will become swimming stars in the future. Catherine Carpenter, BBC South East Today, Dartford. That's just fantastic. It is. They're better than most adults, I know. I think. My little boy loves splashing about, but, you know, that's You want to get incredible. into Angela, really, don't you? Well, I think, yes. <laughs> I need a bigger paddling pool. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, talking of paddling pools, there's big pools forming over large parts.